Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing, and I'm here at Glory Collision 2, the biggest fight in kickboxing and glory history, and I'm excited to be a part of it. I just want to thank everyone who's followed, subscribed, and shared all my videos, and helping grow Bazooka Kickboxing. Here you go. Enjoy the 100th episode. Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing for episode 100, a special episode here on the channel because we're progressing and this is the whole point of the channel. Your basics should be strong by now. You should know how to punch, kick, knee, put everything in combination. You should know how to block properly, move your feet and have good distance control. But episode 100, as I said, is special. And today you're gonna learn three different ways that you can fight like Bazooka Joe. And the first one is gonna be high guard punches versus kicks. Secondly, you're gonna learn how to control the ring, chop legs, use hooks, walk your opponents into your big strikes. And finally, it's all about combinations and level changing. Combinations like Bazooka Joe. Fight strategy one to fight like Bazooka Joe, that's using your high guard, pressuring, and using your low kicks. Obviously in my career, I was really known for my low kicks, but this is one of the best ways that I set them up. But it all came from confidence in my defense. If I didn't have confidence to block the punch, then I'd have a harder time to kick the leg. It's all about getting your opponent to punch and punishing their leg for punching. All right, so I track here with Matt. As soon as I come in, a lot of fighters, once they feel that pressure, they like to jab, boom. I like to block it. And you know I use my high guard with my lead wedge. Next time he goes to jab again, boom, I chop the leg. Punches versus kicks. So using my pressure, using my ring control, I wait. As soon as he punches, I chop the leg. Whether he throws his left or his right, I'm going to block with high guard and chop the legs. And those didn't land firmly. But something is wrong, uh, whether it be the cardiovascular system. Under one minute to go. Maltellini continues to destroy that lead leg of Ombang. Another shot. Ombang is starting to drop that left hand as they go to the ropes. Expect the right hand straight from Faltolini at any moment. There it is. There it is. And good combination follows it up with a kick. Seems like the tide has turned in this second round in favor of Joseph Faltolini. And Faltolini is really having his way here. Bazooka Joe fight strategy number two. It's called lateral tracking. Because I use my high guard defense, I like to get my opponents against the ropes and into the corners, this is where I get to punish them. They want to go left, I punish them. They go right, I punish them again. So this is how I set them up. I like to get my opponent, herd them into the corners. Now if I stand in the center position, they have two ways to go out, go one or two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up, I'm going to make them go in the direction that I want them to go. And because I like my low kicks, I use fight strategy one, punches versus kicks with high guard, now I got them here. So that leg might be already hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand off to my left and I'm going to shut that door down. Now he's got one way to go. As soon as he steps out, boom, I chop that leg. I take it on the first step. Don't wait because at that point you're going to use your instep and keep going, Matt. As soon as he goes here, if I hit here, I'm going to hit my foot on his instep and hurt my foot. As soon as he even thinks about getting out of that corner, he eats a low kick. You see, I'm busy on my hands. As soon as he steps, boom. If I want him to step sometimes and he's stubborn, I'll use the left hook. So I'll slap on the left hook and then I chop. As soon as he steps, he can't defend that. Now he wants to go the other way, that's fine. I'm gonna shut off this right door. As soon as he steps this way, boom. I got left hooks coming, head, body, and head changing directions. Okay, and I, I like to use punches in between to keep my opponent busy. I'm here, he circles out, boom. I attack off of it, circle back this way. He goes this way, I chop the leg. So no matter which way he goes, I have a strike waiting for him. Lateral tracking with low kicks and hooks. Valtellini on the attack. Right hand outside. Valtellini very proud of his Italian heritage. In fact, it was his father, Emilio. As a young boy, they used to watch movies like Kickboxer, Bloodsport, and Rocky together. And Emilio really 
gave his son every opportunity to succeed in the martial arts, and he's made the trip to Japan as he watches his son deliver a couple of left hooks to the body. Daniels goes down following that kick, and referee waves off the fight strategy number three to fight like myself, Bazooka Joe, and that's confidence in your combinations. If you watch my career, I love to throw combinations. I love to mix levels, hit the body, and especially with my kicks. I like to end my combinations or start my combinations with kicks at different levels, whether it's left or right. My opponent never knows what strike is coming and at which level. But the important thing is when I go to attack, I attack with confidence. I attack with full energy, full power, full confidence. I'm not gonna sit there and almost hesitate and hold back. When it's time to go bazooka style, you gotta go lay all that power in there. And the combination is meant to knock your opponent out, okay? It's not here to score points, it's here to do work. So if I hit the body, I go hard. If I go upstairs, I'm going for the finish. The body sets up the head. I always like to finish to the head after I go to the body. So I'm just gonna mix in some bazooka style combinations. You're gonna see I'm very tight defensively, changing levels with my punches and my kicks. After a combination, you're gonna see me stay really defensive. And even if Matt counters with something, I'll block, and then I'm gonna combo back right again. All right, let's go. Combination from Devon. And here comes Valtellini back. Oh, what a high kick from Joseph Valtellini! Puts Devon to the canvas. Got the action. Here he did. He peppered him with that triple hook and boom, just rolled it up high. The reason why the high kick landed so smooth, he kept a tight angle on his high kick. He just rolled it up and over the neck, and that's textbook neck kick high kick. Beautiful. Again, touch with the uppercut, touch with his right hand, they even push off a little to make a... There you go, episode 100 on the channel. A big milestone for us, and I'm happy to be sharing bazooka kickboxing with every one of you. Just make sure Bazooka Joe fights with a lot of confidence forward pressure, good low kicks. So using these strategies has to come with confidence. Whether you're doing punches versus kicks, you gotta defend your head, you gotta stay in mid-range, and you gotta chop away at the legs. Whether you're doing lateral tracking, you gotta have high guard defense and really punish your opponents. And especially when you get them into those corners, you have to use those strategies. So fight like Bazooka Joe, get some finishes, a lot of knockouts on your career. Keep sharing, keep subscribing, leave some comments below and we're looking forward to another 100 episodes.